I hear this from our spouses. Uh, my wife often tells me how I often forget. Uh, I am trying, the older I get, to say I'm getting old, I can't remember. I try to use many excuses for forgetting. Of course, as you read God's Word from the Old Testament through the New Testament, there's many, many, many examples of how people forget. This is one of the main reasons why such a great country like Israel goes wandering in the wilderness for so long. Why? Because they forgot what God had said to them. Yes, there's, there's outright disobedience at different times, but time and time again, you will see points in which people just simply forgot. I, of course, do this with um, things that God is teaching me until as a young man early on, I realized I better stop forgetting. And if the God of the universe is speaking to me, I better remember and what a privilege it is when you come to opportunities like this and you do hear his voice and you've, you've muted all the distracting voices and you now hear the divine voice. What a privilege that moment is. And you better capture it. But knowing your ability and my ability to forget, we must have a tool to cause us to remember. And what I've done for many years is what I call an exercise of journaling. I literally write down the things that God has told me. And then at the end of each month, I go back and whether or not I've made several entries or whether or not I've made 30 entries into my journal, I go back and I re remember the things that God has taught me over this past month. Now, I must admit, there have been times I've done this on a weekly basis where I've written down three or four or five different journal entries into the week, gone back and remembered, and four or five days later, I have written down, dear God, thank you for the way that you taught me about this. And right now, Lord, I'm recording that I am actually crying as I'm writing this down because you touched me so deeply. And four or five days later, I forgot that God had touched me so deeply. We must remember. And as leaders, you owe it to yourself, you owe it to your family, you owe it to your company to remember God lessons. So we are going to give you an opportunity to take a tool with you. And King Price is giving you some red journals there. And we're going to ask you to take a red journal. And I'm going to show you two different ways. There are many different ways in which you could journal, but I would like to just give you two and allow you to choose one of those two. And for the next 30 minutes, we're going to ask you to go out into this beautiful area and just enjoy 30 minutes of quiet. For some of you, it's going to nearly kill, kill you. <laughs> but you're actually going to be quiet. You're going to sit there. You're not going to look at your phone. You're just going to have your journal and a pen. And you may be there for 25 minutes and nothing comes, but you're going to sit there quietly. It's going, going, it might kill you. But let me suggest two ways to do it. The first way is my, my uh, teammate, Bill Hybels from Willow Creek Community Church, suggested one way to do it, and I think it's a wonderful way to do it, and that is to write down acts on your sheet of paper, A-C-T-S. This is a way to focus your thoughts regarding God. One is for adoration. And here, you're going to write things, that, oh God, just thank, I, I adore you for this magnificent beauty of creation. I see all the di various different ways. You think and focus on God himself. You look at him and you adore him. You just focus totally on God. The next thing is confession. And here is where when you see how big God is and you recognize it, then you realize how small 
you are. And sometimes you're almost down on your knees and confessing. You're certainly down on your knees in your heart. And you may want to take a few minutes just to bow your head and to confess. Well, after you have confessed, you're naturally thinking thanksgiving. And here, here's where you can thank God for forgiveness of sin, thank God for your, your family, thank God for all the many blessings that he has given to you. And then this final one is supplications. I don't know how to spell too well, but that's okay. Here is your request to God. Supplications, your request to God. Now, isn't that interesting? Often when we go to prayer, what is the first thing that comes? It's usually this. We want to take the request and bring it all the way up to the beginning. But it's the last thing. You bring focus there. So that is one way that you could go and journal. One final way, which I often do, is this. And if you're new to journaling, this may be the easiest one and the simplest one. And frankly, it's a, it's a wonderful one as well. And that is, I just simply write out my prayers to God. And I say, dear God. And I begin to write out my prayers to God. Now, the reason why I write out my prayers to God so often is that I must admit, I get very quiet and very focused and I begin to pray. And within a minute, maybe two minutes, my mind has gone off this way. And I'm now thinking about the bulls. No, 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 I wouldn't think about the bulls. <laughs> but you understand where I'm going. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. Even as a leader who is known for his or her focus, how your mind starts going in different directions. But when you start having to write things down, ah. Now, the benefit to this whole thing is not only do you capture the moment and you write it down, but now you have it with you. It's in your journal. You can take it with you. And a week from now, a month from now, a year from now, you can go back and say, I remember when I was on the life work retreat, I must go back to the journal and reread what I've captured. The God of the universe, the divine voice has spoken. I want to remember. Enjoy your next 30 minutes as you go out. Find a quiet spot. I prefer for you not to stay in here, but if you must, please, but uh, just go somewhere around this area by yourself and quiet. Turn off your phones, and that's all I ask. Take a, one journal and your one pen, and then I'll see you back here in 30 minutes. Thank you.